Well, I'm live, so I guess we're just gonna... Anyway. Hey guys. I'm, um... I'm back. Did I make the most of my Friday? Let's see. Hmm. Could have been better. Yeah. If we're being honest, of course. Uh, I took off Fridays in hopes of, like, spending more time producing original content. And, I mean, I made a lot of edits to, like, um, my page, like, the panels and everything like that. Uh, spend some time talking to other people, visiting their streams. It's been good. It's a lot of fun, and I... I I'm gonna say, I'm enjoying the process of having to go through it. That's what I gotta say. Yeah. Anyway, we're picking up where we left off, uh, which is, I totally forgot, to be honest. But, um, you know, I'm gonna try to make it work. <laughs> Your electricity bill will be sent out on the 24th. Please make sure you have the $8,000 needed. Jill's a bit tense. Buying her a shoulder... Buying a shoulder massager will prevent her from getting too distracted. Have a nice day. <laughs> right, so I remember reading this part. Um, she said she's going to bring four with her to work. Uh, did I read all the news then? Nano camo underwear, the bank. Uh, yeah, this all seems familiar. Men prefer Christmas cakes. For the longest time, the term Christmas cake referred to women aged six, uh, 26 or above who are regarded as undesirable. Just like a Christmas cake that ceases being useful after December 25th. When men are... Uh, but men around Glitch City developed a sweet tooth. Who doesn't like m a mature woman? Todd19 told the Augmented Eye. They have all the necessary experience already, and plus... I'm so tired of spoiled immature girls doing stupid shit. I said bring on the hot office ladies. Jill, 27, is confused. Christmas what? Is that like the opposite of beefcake? After discovering the real meaning, she launched into an hour-long rant. I'll let you know pencil skirts are the best. This Jill? Um... I don't know why it would be this Jill, but... <laughs> Suke Mountain Soft just unveiled a new line of personal computers for the anime enthusiast market. This is after several attempts at appealing to be a uh, to a broader audience with the Uranus game system, game console. Okay, Saturn references. Cute. Okay, Monster Girl puzzle. Ooh. Launch games have been announced as well. They include popular franchises like Monster Girl RPG, Monster Girlfriend, and Monster Companion. These are all, I think, referencing real games. <laughs> Whoopsies. Um, we're going for the weeb audience. Hey, it's basically me, the Kirin51, Sukaban soft janitor. What's dignity anymore? Sukaban soft plans to launch the AM Township sometime next year. So Jill plays Monster Girl Puzzle. Interesting. KDV 186 gets historic update. Weapon enthusiasts are freaking out right now over a firmware update that Makise Heavy Industries is releasing for its EKDV 186 line of assault rifles. Full compatibility with Nano Camo has been announced, allowing civilian models of this weapon the use of nano camouflage and the option to can uh, customize their. This is like. <laughs> Are we doing gun cost like gun camos now? Is this a uh, Counter Strike? We've been using nano camo on the battlefield for a year now. Maki says chairperson told the augmented eye during a phone conversation, and thanks to its flexibility, we can now sneak past the enemies using the environment to our favor. Our equipment is basically invisible with nano camo. 
nano camo update will be released this month. Jill has a very interesting relationship with dicks. Just saying. Rather, rather interesting indeed. Anyway, okay, nothing really happened, but I will buy her that shoulder massager, because otherwise she's not going to be able to tell me uh, hints. Ah, uh, wait, how close am I to my date? I got four days, so should be okay. Alright, let's go to work. All right. Time to mix drinks and, uh, and change lives. Is that it? <laughs> Evening. Ah, hello, Jill. And that cage. I, um, brought my cat. Your cat? Did I hear Yasunori Kato was in the bar? Bring me that bastard, I'll give him the fist of justice. I'll make him eat the Kanto earthquake. I'll borrow his cap. Oh man, that must not sound good at all. <laughs> Wait, there are no evil Omnyoji um, here? Oh my god. I'm not in, a, in like a... Today is a day where I am very wary of speaking any kind of Japanese, either real or just kind of like... Exaggerated. Boss, what the fuck? Didn't you say you brought Kato to the bar? My cat, my cat! Oh, sorry, cat. Well, that's even better. Hey, four. So cute. Bo uh, boss likes cute things. Mm -hmm. Me too. Why'd you bring him? Sorry, I didn't say that. <laughs> I heard some apartments in my building were being raided. I don't have anything suspicious, but you never know. So I'd rather have him here at least today. Uh, well, I'd say something about the health regulations, but we already had a pack of corgis here. You want me to take care of him in my office? Please? Sure. But he's a bit shy, so... All right, four, let's go to my office. And I think she didn't hear me. Say, hey, Jill, how do you always come home? Oh, how do you always come so early? I live close by. Really? Yup, Chief got me a small apartment nearby. Something about the BTC housing program. Oh yeah, I got mine through that too. Anyways, let's start. How are you guys today? I'm doing okay. Um gonna uh, gonna be in for a late night study session with some friends later uh, so I might cut the stream like 30 minutes early or something because uh, I just need time to prep to go what else is going on hmm I had to go to a person's house and uh, that person was asleep, so when I was texting them, hey, where's your place? He's like... He's like, sorry, I was sleeping. I'm like, yeah, that's fine, but it was really fucking cold today. So, I... That guy is actually the, like, housemate of a friend of mine, so I called the housemate who was at work. And that was your uninteresting... ...story of the day. I got there and then well I got there and then now long way back my phone died time to mix drinks and change lives yo what's up um lady did 
Do you hear me? A dog. Another dog! Hey, I'm not just another dog. I came here as a part-timer. So you're the part-timer. Sudden change of emotion. Yeah. Boss, I'm taking my break. <laughs> it's too early. Shit. <sighs> Part-timers here. Huh. You came early. Why a dog? Why, 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 why? Because look at him. He has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. And he's a Shiva, not a Corgi. I don't know what you're complaining about. It all look the same to me. A little racist there, Jill. Damn. Granted, Shivas can be seen as the Japanese counterparts to Corkies. They're both funny looking and dogs used by the royalty. Oh, and dogs used by the royalty. Anyways, starting today, this dog will help around here. My name is... It doesn't matter what your name is! Boss, please don't shout. Sorry. Just call him Rad Sheba. Why Rad Sheba? What part of Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses don't you get? He's the raddest thing here. Thanks. Boy, that is, uh... I need to ease the lights on myself because I'm going to go blind. I hope that's okay. Yeah, it's not too different. I hope you guys understand, but it is <laughs> right in my eyes. Not good. Anyway. Anyways, he will mostly help getting... Uh, getting orders, bringing clients in and cleaning, but he ought to know how things work. Cleaning? That'd be a change of pace. He'll act like a client and see how you work. Um... Right. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. Are you okay? Yeah, just a couple of post-traumatic flashbacks. Coming right up. This dog... This dog wants a grizzly temple. The deja vu hurts. See, they all want a grizzly temple. Maybe it's a... Popular flavor. <laughs> gotcha. Apparently not that good uh, as well. But a fake like him wearing Hawaiian shirts would. Here. Wow, this is awful. People actually pay for this shit? Hard to believe. I know. So, what brings a dog like you to taking a part-time job here? I'm here to help the funding of my organization. Oh my god. Whew. Are you with the Seifer... Seafar Toy Company? What? No, don't lump me with those herding supremacists. I have a more noble and benign organization. I belong to Sira. Sira? Canine Independent Rescue Association. Yeah, we give a place where dogs can be dogs and save them from themselves. I'm gonna wash out my eye. I'm sorry. One second. Sorry about that, but, uh... We give a place where dogs can be dogs and save them from themselves. Sierra is what I love, but... Damn, is it expensive sometimes. He went from one racist thing to another racist thing. I'm atrocious. Gosh. 
We decided to take a part-time job to help fund anything it needs. We want to help Sira be the best it can be. What do you do at Sira? Take treatment for hurt dogs, give food to the hungry ones, play with the bored ones. We're there for everyone. Huh. That actually sounds nice. Say, you have a menu? Something like that? Yeah. Here. Now, let's see. Any recommendations? Avoid the part with uh, promo drinks. Oh, the Grizzly Temple is one of those. Fluffy Dream? I like the sound of this one. Mm. Coming right up. Dog now wants a Fluffy Dream. No comment. Because we're better than that. Three Aldehyde. Uh, three Powdered Delta. Can you give dogs alcohol? One, two, three. Aged and mixed. Fluffy Dream. Well, this one's nice. So why'd you pick a bar? It seemed fun. I didn't need that many weird skills to be a part of this, so it was my best friend. Oh, best bet. Besides, it's close to home, so I can get here by walking. I I like and I do love me some walks. I go walk all day, let me tell you what. Mm-hmm. Christ. Oof. Weird skills? Yeah, stuff like a uh, food handler certificate, previous work experience, or thumbs. Why did you pick a bar? Um, on a whim too, I guess. I wanted a place where I could see people come and go all the time. And bartending sounded a bit more glamorous than just being a store cloak, uh, clerk. Yeah, about the way you mix stuff. Yeah? Is it, uh, hey. It's a cat! A cat! Hey, Four, weren't you in boss's office? Hello, cat. Wanna play? Let's play! Didn't dogs hate cats or something? We don't hate them. Unless they're intruders. Huh. You said his name was Four? Hello, Four. Let's play. No playing allowed. You'll make a mess. Or go back to boss's office. Meow. That's not... I can do such a better meow. But I'm gonna save it. You, you, you guys, you're gonna earn that one. As one obedient cat. My pride. <laughs> you want something else? Yeah. But I'll talk with John Face here for a bit. Eh? Alright. <sighs> I shouldn't get riled up so easily by dogs, but... I'm just tired, I guess. Hello, Jill. Eh? That... That voice! It's a, eh? Oh! It's my girl! What, what happened to you? Nice seeing you, too! Well, I fell from a really tall place to a really rough spot. Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance or something? Dude, those shoulders. Look at this. Oh, she's built. Sorry. That's really creepy sounding, but I swear. You know. You know? You know. Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance or something? I just got out of one, don't worry. How did you manage to slip by the mobs lynching white knights? It was a bit rough. Luckily these bandages helped me conceal my identity. <laughs> Why well, come straight here? I... The ambulance where I got treatment couldn't stray too far away from the hospital. They're nice people. I've talked to them a lot while on rescue duties. I was nearby and yours was the closest friendly face I could find. 
I needed to regain my composure before doing anything else, so... Here I am. Um... If you're scared because they might come for me, I can leave, you know? Oh no... Security systems of the bar, bar are top not. Ugh. Let me give that one. Security systems of the bar are top notch, and my boss is also the bouncer of sorts around here. Oh, uh, sorts here. I'd say you're actually safer here, so I'm not worried about me. Instead, I'm worried about you. First, I hear you were at the bank, then I find out you disappeared. Now you show up with all those bandages. Are you fine? What happened at that bank exactly? Did you talk with Stella? She was worried sick about you. S slow, slow down a bit. The medications make me feel everything more intensely. Almost like a hangover. Sorry. It's nice to know someone like a bartender was worried about me though. Thanks. Everyone I know has been ignoring me, so I was feeling lonely. Why would they? Well, you've seen the lynches they give to any white knight they find. By ignoring me, they're actually saving me from getting kicked to death. My good deeds finally paid off, I guess. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Um... Something sweet without alcohol. God, these pants still have my wallet in them. Oh no, I couldn't take your money right now. It's on the... Jill? Please? I want to pay for my drinks. I take it I won't be able to change your mind. No, I mean, yes. I mean, you won't be able to change my mind. Sweet no alcohol, right? Coming right up. So he seems to be in a bit of pain. Let me make sure I give her something sweet that doesn't have alcohol in it. Right, so let's see. Sweet. Sugar rush. Oh, I could just give it to her without any alcohol. Careful. Yay, this will help me calm down a bit. So what happened to you? Where did you fall from? I was escaping the place near the end of the whole thing, and I had to make a leap of faith. I jumped from higher places, but I landed badly here. Most of my injuries are actually from debris that fell on me. Oh, but my broken arm is actually from the fall. Ow. I rolled to mitigate the fall, but I made a bad move and broke it. Good thing I drink lots of milk. I was under rubble for quite a bit, but luckily, someone found me. Someone? I woke up in the hospital. They told me some guy brought me there. <gasps> what if it was, um... Jamie. That would be so cool. I don't know who he was, but I owe him my life. What? Nothing, you just sound, um... Cheerful. I'm alive! Why wouldn't I be? After all that happened at the bank, here I am, talking to you, being able to talk at all. Don't think too much about it. I'm fine. I'm totally f I'm totally f Um... Uh... Sorry. Reverse that. How were things around here? I heard there was a huge commotion uh, when the whole thing happened. I had to sleep here in the bar on Saturday, but I guess it could have been worse. Glad to know that. Did you contact Stella? She was on the verge of despair yesterday. <laughs> um... Hey Jill? I want another drink. I, uh... Um, uh, a Bleeding Jane. They asked for a Bleeding Jane, but is it really the best idea to give her one? Oh, 
three. One, two, three. Blended. Here. Cheers. <laughs> so, how were things inside the bank? <coughs> Come again? What happened inside the bank? How did you manage to get through it? Um, I was with this nice bunch of people. Well, they were apparently nice at the very least. We tried our best to find a way out of the whole thing. Cracking through the security, finding safe spots. But then, um... Sorry for asking all that, it was obviously over the line. No, don't worry about it. It's just, the analgesic's still numbing me. I'll take my leave now. Thank you for everything, Jill. Are you alright? I'm fine, I'm fine. That girl saw some awful things inside that bank. The sight of desperate people stuck in one building is enough to scar anyone. Maybe I shouldn't have said all that. I mean, if it's true that she just woke up and ended up here... I don't know. I feel like I was being too pushy. That's not something I can measure. You were just worried. I bet she's still... Uh, she's just still in shock. Yeah. Um... Jill? Want me to make sure she's fine on her way? Please? Alright. I'll go and take my break now. I like... I liked the pacing of that, that was pretty good. Back at it. Too much heavy stuff lately. This one definitely has the most, like, Phoenix Wright vibes, you know what I mean? Phew. Hope everything goes alright. Uh, hey Jamie. So, the guy that Jamie reminds me of is Kano from Mortal Kombat. I mean, the similarities are kind of just there, you know? A little bit of Kano. A little bit of uh, he's got kind of an Adam Jensen kind of face too. You know, it's all there. Um, Jamie? Ah, oh, Jill. Jillian isn't here, I see. Jesus, where did this voice come from? Whoa, 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 whoa. Back it up, back it up, back it up. <sighs> I don't like that one. Oh, Jill. Jillian isn't here, I see. Man, we're not quite there, but we're getting there. Are you alright? You look distracted. Fine. Don't worry. If you say so. Jill! Where do I take four if he needs to use the bathroom? Cage has a small litter box included. Oh! That's convenient! Four. Four. 
Four, four, four. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry, you're gonna hate this. Why, Sonia? You're looking like a Sheila tonight. Fuck. Cancel everything I just said. That was terrible. Please. Absolutely, absolutely terrible. That was so stupid. Ugh. I give up. No Australian, no Australian voices. Just... Jamie's just gonna be a sweet guy, okay? Four. Where's my cat? Some apartments in my building are being inspected today. So I brought him to work in case they enter my place while I'm gone. Ah, oh, I see. What can I get you? The usual gut punch. Coming right up. Gut punch for Jamie. Five bronze and extract. One flannergide and optional crumble. A little bit. Just to take the edge off. Here. I thought when someone ordered a gut punch, you had to make a joke. What am I doing? Uh, I don't know, I'm in a rut, can't think about Jamie today. About, about, about. Without giving the client a punch to the stomach or something. I'm in a very thuggy, thuggery, thug... ...nacious... ...mood. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, that? In theory, yeah. Jill's the only one that pays attention to that, though. Really? You didn't receive proper training. You read an old manual my boss had. There was some sort of stipulation mentioning the need to say puns. It seems like it was some sort of anti-counterfeit measure. I mean, if they copied such a silly stipulation, they'd be caught in the act. Like when the dictionaries added fake words to spot if someone else just copied all of it? Yup. Why not tell him that? It's too amusing, to be honest. So, what's on your mind that's distracting you so much? Nothing you should think about too much. It's like... Those times you just feel uneasy for no good reason. People are just gonna be like, well, you're just kinda like butchering Anglo-Saxon like. English. I'm just like, yeah, you know, what, what are you gonna do? You might have actual reasons to feel that way, though. Come to think of it, mercenary is quite the uncommon occupation, wouldn't you say? I like to see what I do as bounty hunting, actually. That, that's alright. How so? The only jobs I don't take are those where I have to deal with people who just happen to be in the wrong place. I lost it for a sec, so I'm just like... There's some people willing to pay to off someone that has done no wrong. Things like killing someone that owns a house in the way of some building or a nosy reporter. Yeah, if my mouth wants to decide what it's doing, that'd be real cool. I'm not better for turning a blind eye to such requests. I'm not gonna be the one dealing with those. Someone's just like, if anyone's listening right now, God forbid, like... <laughs> my inability to hold a single accent is, is like, cringeworthy. <laughs> the bounty hunter part comes from where? I'm sent to kill someone that has done something like stealing or killing and I don't get paid for it. You can see it as a bounty hunting.
Yeah, I guess. It's just cheap justifications for killing people, though. And then, it's cheap. Mother of Pearl. My mouth feels like it's out of control. <sighs> However, I won't be one to kill for... This is so bad. I don't know what to do. I need to think on this. I'm just like, I need to meditate. I'm so sorry. I'm so confused. Ugh. However, I won't be one. Okay. Let's distinguish our accents like this. This is my standard, you know, I'm, I speak like Northeastern American English. And let's like hop over a little bit more and it's like a Canadian English. Also racist, stereotypical Canadian English. It's like, hey, don't you know? Thing. Yeah, sure thing, hey. You know. uh, I talk like I'm from Wisconsin. You know, don't you know? <laughs> like, sorry, but you know. Uh, and then we go even further. We're over in uh, Britain. It's, it's like, you got, you got two. I'm not going to speak Cockney because I can't. That's like a whole different other language. Uh, well, however, I won't. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, this is just a crash. This is like the thing. This is why I, the YouTube videos will always be superior to the live stream until I can get my junk together. So, however, I won't be the one. Uh, ah, I think it's just a weird sentence. That's my problem. I, I, it's not saying what I want to say. Let's try Scot Scottish. However, I won't be one to kill for petty reasons like those. Oh god. <laughs> Let's change the subject here. I have something I'll have something bitter if you don't mind. Huh? Sure. Bitter. A lot of bitter. Manly bitter, maybe? Like a suplex? One. Three. On the rocks. Next. Here. Ah, uh, yes. He just reminded me of my grandpa. He used to eat Bronson Roots every afternoon. He said they made him stronger. Bronson Roots have more nutrients per gram than most vitamin supplements. Your grandpa knew what he was doing. It seems I always managed to make you uncomfortable. Jill, sorry. Jamie's magical. He's just making me run the whole range right now. Call it a range, it's more like a mishmash. Uh, no, don't worry. Although I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my mind around the whole taking a human life thing. Knowing you've killed people and are now talking to me here, it's... weird. It reminds me of when I first took sex ed classes. I couldn't wrap my mind around people doing that stuff and living normally. Unlike with sex ed, it's better that you stay that way, mind you. You want me to make him, uh, a little Jewish? I don't mean Jewish Jewish, I mean like Brooklyn Bernie Sanders. Taking lives is not something you should get used to. Alright. Oh yes. I know a good way to change the subject a bit. Would you like to hear about the most Dangerous bounty hunter in the city. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everything is a train wreck. I'm 
I'm gonna rewatch this and just go, ah, tragedy. The way you said that was like offering a tale to a bored kid. But yeah, I'd like to hear that one. You see, there was actually a bounty hunter organization in this city not too long ago. Law enforcement would put a price on a dangerous person's head and pay for the proof of that person's death. I'm just gonna... There was a guy everyone called Jet Black James. He got the nickname because he always wore black clothes. The interesting thing was that the black clothes were there to hide blood stains he got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top notch. His information network was the best. Some even joked he would finish the bounty within half an hour, or he wouldn't take the reward. He was too good, in fact. At one point, he took all the bounties and didn't take a single reward. He was just that crazy by then. The last bounty that the organization ever posted was on James's head. Police had him cornered. His last words were, Send it all to my account, before shooting himself. Damn, why hasn't that been made into a movie? So, there were no more bounties after that? Registered bounty hunter was uh, charged with many counts of manslaughter using his old targets for his proof. Somebody else tried to- No! Stop. No, 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 no. That was no. Sorry, cancel. Bye! No. Absolutely no. Oh, God. I'm terrified of any anything coming out of my mouth right now. Ugh. Sorry guys, voice acting canceled. I just... There's no freaking way. No freaking way. If somebody else tried to recreate the organization, Seed of Doubt would have grown in me. Uh, would grow in little but... Uh, to no time. Can't even read one. What guarantee is there that such an organization wouldn't actually be a trap? If they could use the registered bounty hunters to take care of the most bothersome criminals, and then dispose of the bounty hunters by pressing char charges using their targets as evidence. So, no. Jet Black James made sure that no law enforcement organization is able to set up bounty hunting of any kind. Ever since then, anyone crazy enough to be a bounty hunter works independently. Were you part of that organization? I've actually had those suspicions. I'm telling you about since the day I heard such a thing exists. Don't know what the inflection is. Glad to know I wasn't just paranoid. I don't know how well you changed the subject, but that was certainly one interesting story. Just to make sure, you're not a rebuilt Jet Black James or something, right? The name James is pretty common, Jill. Besides, if I remember correctly, his real name was actually Theodore. Oh. That story left my throat a bit dry. Get me a beer, please. Sure. One. Here. One of mankind's oldest friends. Cheers. One obvious thing I see is that you don't take the use of the word kill in your stride the way Jillian does. I'm not good with violence. That's good. It's interesting though. When I compare you two, it's obvious Jillian has seen quite the share of traumatic stuff. That guy's a handful because of that sometimes. Still, he's one of the most reliable people I've ever met. Where is he, by the way? I asked him to keep an eye on a girl that came here earlier. I feel that if something happened, he could resolve the situation. His nose must be itching after we talked so much about him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, well, I've got to go. Send so my regards to your boss and Jillian. 
Will do. <sighs> Man, today's been quite heavy. Everyone... Wait. If I say it out loud, I feel like I will just have fate. Let's try it anyways. Everyone has just been gloomy face after gloomy face. Uh, dog. I sure hope the next client changes that. It's that guy. Who we now know does pay Dorothy to be his daughter once a year for three years in running. So, you still work here? I knew it! Uh, I mean... Quite the surprise to see you here again, Mr. Ingram. Got out of my job. I needed to drink badly. I remember this crack house was nearby. <sighs> what can I get you then? I'll have a bleeding Jane. On it. Ingram wants a bleeding Jane. One. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Here. Tastes just like the pasta sauce my mom used to make. Watered down, artificial, and nasty. So where do you work, Mr. Ingram? I don't have a specific job. There's this... Well... Network of engineers in need of assistance. I have no idea what they do there. And I can follow instructions, and that's all they need. Recently, I've been working with this sil cilia girl working on some experimental power suits. My only duty is to give them maintenance once a day. What's that about a network? All those nerds know each other, and they recommend me. I don't ask questions, and quickly learn to do whatever they need. Oh, sounds nice. Pretty monotonous at times, though. Why are you giving me that look? You're just more more cheerful than the last time you came. We all have good days and bad days. Today just happens to be a not bad day. Besides, with everyone scared shitless in their houses, the streets are clear with no traffic jams. That's always a plus. I guess. It almost became a bad day, though, thanks to some teens on the way here. What did they do? It's not what they did. It's what they said. They were talking about how they should just go to Zaibatsu Corps HQ and blow it up. I've seen one too many kids thrown around that let's kill the king attitude when it comes to Zaibatsu crap. Even if Zaibatsu Corps building suddenly went down, the ones behind it would, sti would be still alive. I want to tell you guys later about a uh, manga that I was reading. Killing the head honcho just means his or her duties go to the next rim jobber on the totem. Hell, I bet they're planning to kill each other anyways. Kids these days see too many action films where the rebels save the day by killing the evil corporation. Don't let it get to you. I don't. I just hate teenagers. Interesting though, big corporation control is somehow more dangerous than a regular government. I wouldn't know, I'm not a political person. No shit. Alright, give me a zen star and try not to mess it up. Coming right up. Wants the zen star, a little bit of everything. So, I was recently reading, uh... A manga called Killing uh sorry, real account. It's like Twitter death game. That's basically what it is. Kinda interesting. Apparently still going. Lots of gore just for I don't know, it's edgy. Whatever. But I think it's alright. Here. Yes, it's just as nasty as I've heard. Why order it then? 
Not your problem. So, where's the red comet? My boss? She... Jill, Force headed your way! Let's play, Four. Let's play. Oh, a customer. Sorry for the intrusion. You have a dog here? And a cat? The cat's mine, his name is Four. Dog just... hangs around here. He looks well-groomed and his fur looks healthy. Seems you take good care of him. You seem to know a lot about cats. No, that's just common sense. You like cats, Mr. Ingram? I don't dislike them. But I do dislike having animals near me when I'm eating or drinking. So, I'll take my leave. Please come again. Don't count on it. Said that last time. Congratulations, you scared a client off. Four's as guilty as me. Yeah, but I like Four. He's my baby. Now go, play or something. Right. Sorry. Right. Ah, uh, you're back. What happened with Say? That cat boomer girl picked her up. I couldn't see anything, but I guess she was happy. Glad to hear that. Did I miss something? Only Jamie and some other guy came. I see. You look exhausted. Yesterday was filled with people carrying heavy emotional baggage. I don't mind it, but dealing with them tired me out a little bit. I actually found myself wanting Dorothy to burst out of that door at any moment. So you miss Dorothy? Kinda. But anyway, nothing a good night of sleep can't fix. Let's just wrap things up around here and call it a day. So, how am I doing on the money? Little short, but I'm close. Playing with your cat was really fun! Boss is so cute. Your electricity bill will be sent out on the 24th. Please make sure you have the 8,000 needed. Bill's beer stash is running out. Buy some to prevent her from getting too distracted. Four, mind the hairballs. Leave bigger ones in the shower. Oof, what a savage kitty. So she needs the uh, what? You're on the discount. That doesn't feel like I'm having enough money, but all right. Let's see what else is going on. AM Township 64. I hype. I literally know games. Oh, sorry. That's just like. A new user. I'm stupid. Don't don't pay attention. <laughs> Hype? Literally no games. Is anyone else tired of this monster girl meme? No, no, no. I'm gonna marry a monster girl. I just want actual gameplay next time. Why would you want gameplay in a Sukebon game? I don't know. All I see is pretty girls with nothing to back it up. Any info on the hardware? It's probably gonna be an yet another underpowered piece of shit. It's not like the competition is any better. Nah, eh, I think I'll just quit gaming. Nothing but trash is of late. Yeah, remember when games were actually good and devs made them with love and care? Me neither. Uh, let's see. Soccer popularity re uh, sinks as pro wrestling rises. Once known as the king of sports, soccer is no longer even a shadow of its former self. After the corruption scandals of the last World Cup, fans have been begun drifting towards the theatrical magic of the pro wrestling industry. The latest GSF tournament pulled nearly 20 million viewers from Glitch City alone. As of this moment, fans seem to be vastly pro favoring pro wrestling. It's easy, yeah. It's easier to follow something we know is predetermined as opposed to something that pretends to be a legit sport. Said a fan outside the GSF arena. People kicking the ball is boring as shit too. But I like soccer, and because of that, you're a castrated. Oof. 
certainly like fried chicken. During our weekly interview with Prime Minister Quincy, he revealed his unusual taste for a certain rare food, fried chicken. Can I get a little Nixon? I don't know, it's just Prime Minister Quincy, right? I know it sounds a bit rude to say I like something most people don't have access to. But I just can't deny my love for it. Oh, bowl. I have a Nixon. It's somewhere. Can I do an Obama? Okay. You taste the chicken. The rest like the ones that can't make. You just can't go back. Quincy declared to the augmented eye. In other news, Quincy also confessed his desire to ban instant food, although he later said it was in jest. I wouldn't ban instant food. That's what people in the city uh, like the most. Even though I hate it, no, I wouldn't ban it. Is it that rare? Pretty sure the ones sold are fried pigeons. Monster Girlfriend Shirari becomes the best selling video game of all time. Long live Weebism. Long live Degenerates. The waifu revolution from the 2010s is no longer a laughing matter. What started as a trend has since gone out of control since the standardization of VR technologies, which allows people to live full-time inside their computers. As a result of this craze, it shouldn't be as a huge uh, surprise to know that the popular Monster Girlfriend franchise has become a commercial juggernaut, with millions of copies shipped in Glitch City alone. Worldwide, the game has shipped nearly 90 million copies since its launch in March, making it a record holder that won't quit. Is the waifu age real? Well, there's your answer. Alright. Uh, every now and then, I wonder if I'll ever meet my significant other. All the stimuli from being born just like three years ago, and directly being thrown in this wonderful disaster that is the idol industry, makes me thinking, think of all the things I'm missing. Accidental love, lost love, or ever the or even the gentle touch of another person. I feel like I'm in this bubble that won't let me catch all possible feelings, and my senses get tired of the same environment. I want to meet new people, places. Because even though I have a large bank of knowledge, I actually never experiment with what most consider normal. But you already know that from my songs. Wow. I suddenly have an urge to hug her. Jill is sweet. Everybody is sweet. Go. Evening. Ah, Jill, good timing. Is it? You always make me feel like I'm late. It helps. That dog isn't coming until sometime later. Anyway, do you have something planned for Sunday? Uh, watch silly mega Christmas specials with 1,000 grams of black fur on my lap? Why? I was thinking about holding a small make a Christmas party here this Sunday. You in? Sure, why not? All right. Invite any client you're acquainted with. The more the merrier. You didn't bring your cat today? The raid stopped. They found whatever or whoever they were looking for. Huh. Anyways, we better start working. Yeah, you better. Uh, I'm gonna leave it like that. <laughs> Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhall. Valha. Is that Kim? No, right? 
it is. Uh, um... I want... a... fluffy dream. Giving her a robot voice. May I see your ID, please? I don't... have an ID, because... um... I'm the ghost of Mega Christmas past. I'll haunt you constantly, unless you give me a fluffy dream. Do you have money to pay for the drinks? Well, I... Do you? Yes, I... I have money. Or ask for a fluffy dream, but she's gotta be crazy if she thinks she's getting alcohol so easily. No karma trime. Yosh. Here you go. Wow, I actually got a drink. So, who are you here to stalk, Miss Ghost of Mega Christmas Part Last? Stalk? Oh, right. I'm a ghost. Uh, that guy. Yeah. Which employee did you leave without a Mega Christmas, Jill? Jill, please. <laughs> it would have been funny if you reacted to that. Sorry, kid. I'm not in the mood to humor you today unless you have some sort of ID. Here. Well, in a year or so, I would gladly serve you a drink. But until then, this is no place for you. But I already got a drink. A non-alcoholic one. You didn't expect me to really give you a drink, right? Uh... So if you would please leave... Uh, I can't leave. Not after trying so hard to even get here. All right, let's start from the beginning, Miss Norma. How did you know my name? I saw your ID. It could have been a fake ID. I don't think you're stupid enough to make a fake ID that doesn't put you at least 18 at the very least. You're very sharp, Miss Bartender. You look like a nice girl, Norma. Why come to a bar like this? Um, uh... You seem like you're in a bad mood, Miss Bartender. Ah, eh, she's just like that all the time. Shut up. Sorry if I've been harsh. These last couple of days have been... heavy. And having someone under underage here reminds me of a certain... incident from last week. Incident? Well... Don't change the subject, young lady. Why did you come here? What do you care? I can do whatever I want. Unless it's illegal, in which case anyone can, should, and probably will stop you. I just... Just wanted to be more wild, you know. Wild? My mom puts way too many expectations on my shoulders. I've always been out to make sure I don't disappoint her. But it's never enough. It's not good enough to have good grades. She also wants me to go out and take a college preparation course. And I'm tired. I don't want to do things for her anymore. You came to a bar. Maybe if I came back home smelling like alcohol, she would leave me alone. If I'm not good enough for her, I might as well kill any hope she has in me. It's funny, I have a friend who is also being pressured by her mother. Really? Yeah, but in her case, it's being pressured to settle down and form a family. Oh. So, let me get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappointed? Yes. Do you like alcohol? 
actually, I think it's nasty, then you're doing things wrong. What? If you're gonna disappoint your mom, at least do it with something you like. Like, become a belly dancer because you want to be a belly dancer. Otherwise, you're just trying to hurt her for the sake of hurting her. Let's start with something. What do you like doing? I... Don't know. I've been so focused on trying to be good enough that I haven't been able to think about what I want to do. Don't you think you should start there? Eh. What good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone? If she gets disappointed in you over something you like doing, you have the right to protest. But if you're hurting her by hurting yourself over something you don't enjoy... Sounds... silly, huh? Very. Go home. Do some self-discovery before hurting your mom, would you? Or at the very least, humor her until you're old enough to move out. Yeah... You're right. Thanks, Miss Bartender. Call me Jill. Jill! All right. Careful out there. In the end, he did humor her for a bit. Shut up. Oh, a doggy. Hello, little girl. Oh, shit. G and J. How you doing? You're late. Miss me, Jay? You're too early. Ah, good to see you're here. Good to see you here. Boss, will he be any good here around here? I'm right here. I know. Of course, I spent lots of time training him. Why do you think he didn't show up last week? Because how the hell would I know you'd bring a part-timer dog? Here, let me show you. Sit. Sir, so, yes, sir. Roll. Sir, so, yes, sir. Paw. Sir, so, yes, sir. Training. Of course. He's only shouting sir, yes, sir, and not doing anything else, though. I never said I did a perfect job. Hmm? Is that a motorcycle? Oh shit. Hey! Not in my office. Is it so the dog would chase the motorcycle or what? In the end, he's just a dog. Who's this a cure looking boy? He cute though. Ten out of ten. Anyway. Y yes? Gotta be swooning a little bit. Oh. Perfect. Bathroom! Oh. Sorry, it's only for clients. Uh, um, promise me you'll buy something afterwards? It's that door over there. <laughs> Who the hell are you? The other one! Sheesh. I... I said get out of my desk! I said get out of my desk! But the world's ending. It was just a motorcycle. The, the full ride is then. Those are horsemen, and it already stopped. Thanks. Don't mention it. I need to buy something now, right? Oh no, you don't have to. Sorry if it looked like I meant to inconvenience you. 
No, I'll order something. I need a rest anyways. What can I get you? Uh, piano woman would be nice. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Ahem. <clears throat> I'll have a Mars Blast. Eh. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, one, two. Really judgmental of Jill to go, I didn't hear you, you know? Here you go. <clears throat> yes, this is the stuff. <clears throat> Too strong? I'm <clears throat> fine. That motorcycle out there, yours, Mr. Call me Mario. And yes, it's mine. Sorry for the noise. Oh, don't worry. It's not like you stayed outside too long or anything. So what do you work as, Mario? I live to paint the roads black with my wheels, leaving the trail of my engine sounds wherever I go. I'm a rebel. Fuck the red lights. Fuck the speed limit. Fuck the helmet laws. The roads are mine and mine only. I am... Guys, I'm going outside with the dog. We'll advertise the bar. Hello, doggy. Hello, shady guy. Shady? I'll be back before long. Don't worry. All right. Careful. Who was she? Oh, she's my boss. She was cute. Er, not that you're not cute. And it's not like I'm into girls either. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I just... So where do you work, Mario? I told you, I'm a rebel. I... Rebels can't maintain those bikes for too long. What's your day job? I'm a delivery boy. That's really appropriate, I guess. What do you deliver? I'm from a courier company, so it's kind of like mail, I guess. I'm always around the city, and I know it like the palm of my hand. Sure, I might not remember every building, but I remember every intersection in every street. That's nice. Still can't take detours without feeling totally lost. Try guiding yourself with the help of landmarks. Around here, the Saber Station's antenna's a good reference. Er, I mean, what do I care? Fix that yourself, bitch. Do you want anything else, Mario? It's a moon blast would be nice. Moon blast. Eh, uh, gut punch? Yeah, that one. Yeah, he asked for a gut punch, but I'm pretty sure he asked for a moon blast first. I'm gonna give him the moon blast and see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, one, two, five, Here. This is good. It's a moon blast. I. No, never mind. Say, Mario, why do you try so hard to keep up with that tough guy image? It isn't working? Maybe when you arrived and had to go to the bathroom, but after that, you look just. After that, you just look. You. So why do it? Bikers are supposed to be scary, right? Rebels that cause trouble and ride free from society's ties. If 
if we applied that brand of logic here, I should be wearing one third of my clothes and lighting drinks on fire. I guess... You can do whatever you want and dress however you want, it's just that you look like you're trying so hard. And that's the rainbow of today, guys. Bleh. That's the rainbow of the day. Jesus. Be true to yourself. Be 100. Be authentic. Yay. God. Why was that so hard to just deliver? Like, you don't really enjoy that. <laughs> it's not a lie. Who says you can't dress as a biker and still be a nice kid? Yeah, but other bikers... That sounded like something someone in high school would say. <sighs> it's just advice. Don't take it too personally. No, you're right. I don't have to be that way. Unless you want to, I ain't stopping you there. Yeah, but I don't. It's tiring and I don't feel good. If you want, you can try to stay quiet. You were pretty intimidating when you did that. I see. Do you have another drink, or did you have too many already? I can handle another one. Get me a fringe weaver. Sure. This thing is, like, a lot. And, and, um, sorry. Here. Yep, that's the one. Thanks. Say, Mario, you really like bikes, huh? I guess, yeah. Whenever I got into a car, I always felt like I was in some sort of cage. With the motorcycle, I can feel the wind and everything on my face first. It's liberating, you know? Ah, I see. Besides, I get motion sickness in cars only for some reason. In cars only for some reason. Motion sickness is something I've, I've always found it interesting. Why? Well, you get dizzy when too many movements are happening at once, and then the body gets the signal and throws up. But you throw up because your body thinks the dizziness is due to eating something bad. We take it for granted, but humans were not made to fly or move that fast. Motion sickness is a bug of sorts. Bug? Like the ones in computers. I have no idea what you're talking about. Alright then, I'll be leaving now. Thank you for everything. Please, come again. He didn't look like a Mario to me. Same. I'll be taking my break now, Jill. Okay, careful. Whew. How are we doing? How are we doing? Um, I'm slogging through, but dang. It really does a number on your throat. So much reading. Not do this next game. I'm gonna pick something that uh, can I can work my way through at a soft pace. You know, a soft pace. Anyway, let's see here. I of course made a pace that won't kill me. Think like Oregon Trail. They uh. A grueling pace and then is it moderate conservative or something whatever moderate one Billy didn't smell like poo today that's a new one who's Billy
Okay. All right, back to business. Back. Any luck? I managed to give out some flyers, but most people were distracted by the dog. I had to tell them to go to the Red Rad Shiva bar to get their attention. Oh. Anyway, I'm back to my office. You, stay here. Fine. The door opens and the crowd goes wild when they see... Ah! Dog! Sup, little girl? What are you doing in a bar? Honey, some help here? Hey dog, I heard cats in the alley. Really? I'll check them out. Wow, you really are bad with dogs, eh? Did I make it too obvious? Why though? I don't know. Oh, hey John. Hey. I think it's because I just got that trait at random. When AIs are created, they're given fears or tastes completely at random. I just happen to get stuck with a fear of dogs and chinchillas. Chinchillas are extinct though. Thank gods. What will you have? Well, it's that time of the month, so I'll have a bleeding chain. Coming right... Um... Up? That's like... So... Drinking Mary Janes is healthy for you, right? Or is it for cleansing your palate? What's it for? No, sorry, Bloody Marys. God. What's it Like, it has a purpose, right? Here. At time of the month? Do Lilla menstruate? Yes. Oil. No, silly. We don't. There are a few maintenance things we have to do every month, but those are a different story. Then what time of the month is it? The time when I feel like drinking a Bleeding Jane! I feel like the writing is really good at sandbagging itself. It's great. So, how's business? You'd be surprised by how many people get struck by holiday depression and need some Dorothy in their lives. Although, it's also the season with the most competition. I didn't know you had competition. Of course I do, both humans and Lilum. Half of them got a sexy Santa dress, and that's not fair. They were sold out. I wanted one too. Maybe it's better that way. How so? The other girls like to dress in skimpy clothes and show lots of skin. That scares off lots of people. I learned that the best way to maintain regulars is to just dress normally. Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some acquaintance. No need to hide me until reaching the room. Hell, some even invite me to a dinner or a movie before anything else. Although, I must say it's a bit hard to get the clients in the first place. They can't tell what I do at a glance. And the first time they see me after a call, they think I'm just making a prank or something. Oh, I never saw it that way. Which reminds me, do you serve only humans or do you serve Lilum too? Humans only, but I do have an at least 40% organic policy. 40%? Human from the neck up. Dick's preferably organic, but I can make exceptions. Jeez. For females, I'm not so strict though. Hmm. Why? Do you know someone that might be interested? No, just mere curiosity. Well, your curiosity left me thirsty. Get me a blue fairy. A big one, would you? Alright. Big blue fairy for the small pink-haired pixie. One, two, three, four. 
Here you go. I wonder if anyone has seen fairies after a couple of these. Some guy tested that by drinking as many as he could. He thought he saw one, but he was dizzy and what he'd seen was his puke. Oh. You no, know, earlier today there was a make Christmas spirit around here. What about it? That I'm realizing I made a fuss about serving drinks to someone underage, but here I am. Nothing in particular, just a funny story. I have a funny story myself! It's the Mega Santa prank! What? Eh, it's a prank I pull every year. First, I pick them all, wait for a day with lots of people, then I go to Santa's lap, and when he asks what I want, I say in the most innocent tone I can muster, I want you to make me a woman! Sometimes they try to cover it up, the little one wants to be human! It's then when I say, No, I want you! After that I say, Well, at the very least, I want a dildo, a big pink one, or a very bumpy cucumber. Sometimes I spice it up. Instead of cucumbers, I ask for a pony and a crane to lift him. I once thought about screaming, Help! I'm being molested! But I remembered it was a prank. I didn't want to ruin the guy's life. How considerate. Although, I did get a client that way. He became a regular soon after. Huh. But yeah, three years and they still don't get that it's always me. Oh yeah. How old are you? Old enough for anything you want. Numbers. I need numbers. Are you really asking a girl her age that way? Okay then, tell me your age first. 27. No fair! You didn't get fidgety or anything like that! <sighs> Fine. I'll tell you. My model's designed to look between 10 to 13 years old, but my last checkup said my mental age was 24. How long since you've been deployed? That's a secret I'll keep with me. Fair enough. I expected you to get all uncomfortable talking about your age, though. Why didn't you? With how dangerous everything's been lately, every year you get matters. Getting old isn't a curse, it's an achievement. You should make a shirt with that, because if you don't, I will. Feel free to do so. Want anything else? Let's see... Oh! A Cobalt Velvet! It's been a while since I've tried one of those. Alright. Guess for a Cobalt Velvet. Weird. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. How are we doing? Okay. Anyway. Uh. Cobalt Velvet. Yep, this is the one. You like it? I don't dislike it. I guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. Hey, honey, what day is today? Wednesday. Oh, the number! The number! Number? 21. 21. Shouldn't you know that? I'm a little, I'm not a calendar. I thought you would know that much. Next, you're gonna tell me to make some convoluted calculation. You, you can't? I could if I put my mind to it, but it's not something I have quick access to. Yes. I have an inner calendar and a calculator, but those are used in lots of other operations every second. I could do all that, but it's 
a lot quicker to just ask you. I see. Why do you need the date, though? Oh, look, it's the ghost. I wonder how many times I've missed that. I have something to do on the 26th. I've been avoiding it for a while now. Oh, but don't worry, it's nothing dangerous or anything like that. Just... heavy. Would you like some help? Would you help me? If you tell me what it is you need help with. Maybe later. I have to go now. See you later! Bye. You think she really can't access calendars and calculators that easily? I guess it's kind of like how even if a text processor can access the computer's calendar, you don't use it for that. Why didn't you tell her you missed her yesterday? Forgot about it. I didn't find any cats. Why not look again? Good idea. Huh? Another kid? Maybe the bar got popular at some middle school? That would be a hassle. Oh gods, maybe Alma was right. Right about what? Well, the other day I was asking her opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing. Before the whole massive transmission hack thing. At some point she talked about hacking becoming a fad and said, Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. And today there have been two kids already. Eh? How would bartending become a fad? Maybe a cartoon? Kids' cartoons don't show any alcohol. True. Um... Excuse me, miss. This is no place for kids, so you should... Um... Jill, she's staring too much and she's saying nothing. She's not ordering anything. She's not causing trouble and there's nothing inappropriate here. I mean, nothing inappropriate aside from alcohol, but alcohol is everywhere anyways. So what do you suggest? Let her be. Maybe she's just curious about the bar. She's saying nothing. She is talking, though. Maybe she's curious and shy. Also, it's rude to speak about people you have in front of you like they can't hear you. Yeah... Jill? What? How the hell did I startle you? What do you want? Can you help me out here with a beer? Right. Beer for Jill. Haven't I seen that girl before? Beer here seems a little bit more alcoholic than one would think beer. Beer. Thanks. And lower your guard a bit, please. Oh yeah, before I forget. The disposal unit comes on Sunday. Do you have any expired ingredients on your side? Oh right, yeah. This bottle of Karmatrine that's like a month past expiration. Put it by the sink so I remember to dispose of it. Thanks. Hey, miss! Y yes Are you happy? Am I happy? Well, that's a weird question. I'm not sad, I guess. I'm not jubilant, but... No, I mean, are you happy with your life? With your choices? Deep question. I mean, I might have one or two regrets, but I guess it could be worse. Regrets? Yeah, I mean, don't we all? I see. Um. Hey, Jill. Wah! Again? Aren't you being? Aren't you a bit on edge? Maybe. What did you want? Didn't you borrow the screwdriver the other day? I did. Why? 
I forgot to take the coins from the arcades in the corner last week. So I need to take them out. Oh, let's see. Here. It's not like they see much action these days anyways. Chump change is still money. Pocket change has saved my ass many times. What? Did you throw it in someone's face while escaping? That only happened once and the old lady started it. Right. Why doesn't arcade still use coins nowadays? Or physical money when you get down to it? For the reason arcades still exist. Nostalgia. That hurts. When I was in Japan, I was like super excited to go play some light gun shooters because I was like, oh man, I love light gun shooters. It's like one of the only th things that I can't really do at home. I mean, I want to like emulate light gun games. Sorry, did I say emulate? I meant purchase legally. You can acquire the games legally, but it's really hard to run them. So I'm just but like... I want access to light gun games because it's like that's just a fun experience and like virtual reality shooting isn't quite the same plus I, I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to the light shield when you put on the PSVR that little like rubber part that goes around your nose area yeah that um might be made of latex and that sucks anyway where was I <sighs> maybe hey miss Eh, uh, yeah? Do you recognize me? Recognize you? Oh, snap! Wait, is this her ex's sister? I want to say I do, but... Eh... Uh, sorry. Really? You can't remember your own sister's face? Sister? Sorry, but I don't have any sis... Not even a sister-in-law? No way. Gabby, is that really you? God, I'm so sorry, but you've just grown so much since I last saw you. How long has it been? Three years? R right. So you know her? Yeah. She's actually my girlfriend. My ex's sister. Um, so how have you been doing? I actually had to transfer schools, and I managed to skip a grade thanks to the admission tests. I'll be out of middle school next year. You've always been a smart one, so it's no surprise. Have you thought about what you want to study in college? You always said you wanted to be a scientist. I don't know yet. I guess I still have a couple of years to think about that. Well, don't feel pressured about that. Maybe we'll need a sabbatical year? So... How's Lenore? Wait, who's Lenore? Her sister? She's... Um, she was my girlfriend. So you actually had a relationship with something that's not a cat? Well, are me surprised. Hey. Don't talk shit about my baby. <clears throat> so, how's Anor doing? She's dead. Ooh, that music, that music change was like, perfect. Sorry, I don't think I heard right. My sister is dead, Jill. She died last Saturday. I came all the way to tell you the news. Come on, Gabby, stop fooling around. No. You stop fooling around. I mean, wow. My sister was left to suffer her disease alone while you were all mer merry here, dr mixing drinks and chatting. Wait, Lenora was sick? Of what? Since when? Localized nanomachine rejection. It gave her a heart attack. She started complaining about chest pains not long after you left. 
Was all the talk about getting your freedom worth it, Jill? Was your right to be married worth the life of my sister? Why aren't you lashing out at me like that? Did I infect her with the disease that killed her? No, but it's too much of a coincidence that she started getting worse and worse right after you left. She got visibly sick after your fight. It'd be no surprise if that fight played a key role in killing her. That's just speculation. You can't just expect... You can't expect... All of that because you wanted freedom? What kind of freedom is so enticing that it makes you hurt a nice three-year-old relationship? Was this freedom so important you cut all contact with us? Was this freedom so good you left everything behind? Was this freedom worth the life of my- Shut up! I didn't kill your sister, for fuck's sake. It's not like I infected her with that nanomachine rejection. Hell, this is the first time I've even heard when she heard she was sick. And do you really know what kind of fear drove me to have that argument with your sister? Do you even understand the fear of feeling your youth slip through your fingers? Do you think it was all easy for me? I was scared. I'm still scared. But I needed to grab a hold of my life. But it has nothing to do with your sister. I... I loved her. You think that fight didn't hurt me too? I... Idiot! Uh, I don't want to make the noise that is necessary to... Truthful for this, so you get a. Uh, please donate for soundproofing my entire living room. Hey. Hey. I'll make sure that girl gets to wherever she wants to go safely. Meanwhile, Chief... I know. Come on, Jill. Let's take you home. Home sweet home. Hey, Jill. You wanna grab something to eat? I'm not hungry. Want me to come in? Keep you company? I'm fine, I just... I just need to be alone for a bit. Jill... You can tell me what you're feeling. It's okay. It's not okay! It's... It's not... Come here, Jill. Come here. Just... I feel like part of me is crumbling right now. My old girlfriend was sick and I didn't know anything about it. Her sister came to deliver the news and she held nothing but animosity for me. Not only that, but I lashed out at her, her too. History fucking repeats itself. Maybe I hadn't cowered back then and apologized? Maybe if I wasn't such a selfish little shit. Maybe. Maybe. Do I get an Oscar? Okay. Thanks, boss. I really needed this. Do you want me to stay with you today? 
thanks, but I actually need some time for myself. Some me time to put my thoughts in order. Yeah, I understand. But don't do anything funny. You hear me? If, anything if any weird thoughts come to you, or if you feel too anxious, call me. Yeah. Hey, Four! She's in your care, you hear? Meow. Better. Remember to call me. I'll call you later to check on you nonetheless. This game is getting really emotional, and I'm... Oof, I'm feeling many things. She wants a cutesy game. Let's save first. Oof. She's not talking for four. That's how you know. Beat the game poster. Only 300 bucks and, you know, I uh, have enough for, um... Okay, okay. I'm not gonna be sitting here pretending like I didn't just, like, really feel for a minute there. can definitely get pretty sentimental, you know? Uh, that I admit. But, um... It's good writing, what can I say? I'm enjoying myself. This is, uh... It's legit. Anyway. Bill smiled a bit at the cutesy poster. Uh, yeah. I need to protect her. Makise releasing EKDV 186 update. Is this the greatest thing to ever grace planet Earth? I literally can't stop touching myself. Such a high quality release. But why is the camo blurry? I think it's a regulation for the civilian models. Something's off. I'd be all over this normally, but I can't seem to get excited over this. Your shit taste is showing. Nah, I just think I'm kind of descensit- descends- I'm kind of tired of the same thing over and over. That's what happens when you consume way too much fucking military equipment and weapons. Yeah, I think it's that. I better stop buying so many weapons already or I'll never find pleasure in them again. Any word on the camo stuff for other civilian weaponry? They said they were going to announce more stuff on a later date. I like porn, you guys. I have been to those subreddits where they show, like, pictures of guns. It's a thing. I mean, you don't have to like firearms as a concept to understand that people like their guns. And like with anything, you'd, you'd like to show off the things that you have. Anyway. You were Miki Encore, Encore Concert. Jeez. Fans of the famous cyber idol Kira Miki are in for a huge party, all thanks to the second uh, announcement of a second concert in Glitch City's Silver Thunder Superdome. I'm so excited to extend my visit, declared the Cyber Idol during a, an interview. Tickets are now up for sale and expected to disappear in a matter of minutes, so be quick and scare the spots. You can get the tickets from the following retailers. Nope. New act proposes surveillance. Increase surveillance. We have nanomachines tracking people 24-7. However, due to the violent protests that have take, taken place recently, Prime Minister Quincy is now proposing a new law that will allow the government to shut down anyone with nanomachines in their body using a pulse signal. Many people died during the protests, and that could have been more- Many people died during the protests, and that could have been avoided if we had more control over the masses. Okay, so... Confession, totally stealing this impression from the Super Best Friends. I feel like they had a great Nixon, you know, Satan, Beelzebub, Nixon. I'm not gonna be over here pretending like that's mine. 
but I'm going to keep using it, though, because I love it. Quincy said during a parliament meeting, We have the technology to simply shut down lawbreakers. It's a non-lethal way to end any kind of conflict, and it's common sense to use it at this point. I'm doing very bad, though. When asked about the possible negative consequences, Quincy refused to make any further comments. Hmm. 66 American Kid Returns challenges Giant Yusuke to a title match. Ever since Giant Yusuke won the GSF belt, he's had nothing but negative responses from his from fans. Challenger after Challenger has tried to take the title away from the imposing Giant, but nearly all of them were injured in the process. 66 American Kid surprised the GSF world by returning to action almost four months earlier than expected, and then challenging Giant Yusuke to a title match on January 4th at the Super Silver Thunderdome. This January, I'll become the champion GSF deserves. 66 American Kid proclaimed during a promotion in front of 25,000 fans in the Kokoro Hall. Kokoro Hall. Well, I'm not a wrestling fan, but... I promise, I'm gonna come back and read little Dominic a bedtime story. Right? All right, let's go work. Good evening. Are you okay? I feel like shit. You sure you should have come then? You're in all the... You're in all the right to stay at home. I have to come. I threw away everything I had in my life to be here. People I loved were pushed aside just so I could enjoy my freedom of being here. My stupid, stupid freedom. So I will come here until I die, even after the bar closes, until my hair falls out. <sighs> You're the one who looks like she's about to fall apart. Your eyes are red and swollen. Yeah, well, your hair is hairy. Yes, it is. Ah, who was the dipshit that changed the order of the glasses? It was me. I was the one washing dishes yesterday, remember? Oh yeah. I was too busy staring at my crumbling life and all that. Why don't you go home, Jill? You're in no position to deal with people right now. Go home. Rest a bit. My girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend died and I wasn't there to see her one last time. All because of a fight I spent all through these years regretting and wishing to, but never actually apologizing for. My decision to assert my freedom and grab a hold of my life led me to this. Bartender strapped for cash that distanced herself from her loved ones for no other reason than selfishness. So I won't fucking leave. I threw all that away to be here, so here I will stay. This is what I wanted. This is why I left all that behind. This is why... See? You're starting to sound like a broken record. Oh, leave her be. I'd rather have her here than be alone in her apartment. How you feeling, Jill? Feel like a shit-eating piece of shit? I'm the lowest of any possible life form you might find. Nanobes look down to me in disgust, knowing they're far superior. You're spirited. That's good. Where's the mutt? Working with Sira. Mad Sira? I know what I said. In any case, let Joe process her anger. It's perfectly normal to feel that way. And here, she's surrounded by people that care about her. It's a lot better than leaving her to fend for herself. I mean, as smart as Four might be, it's still just a cat. And why not have Jill stay, but not serve anyone today? What part of I won't leave didn't you understand? I didn't leave everyone behind to just sit and do nothing. Fine, fine. <sighs> what do we do if she lashes out at a client? 
That's why you're here, Jillian Pliskin. Ooh. That's a Metal Gear joke again. Hey, Jill. What? I'll be in my office, but if you need a break or a hug, just tell me. The boss is the best. Okay. Oh, he already put on music. That seems like he reacted. <sighs> this is gonna be an interesting day. The Hall of Heroes keeps shining, brimming with the... Do I smell tacos? Wait, it's outside. Never mind. Ah, hell no. We meet again, bartender. Mm. Virgilio, what can I get you? Today, the luminous pollution on the streets makes it almost seem like a starry sky. When I think about stars, I think about celebrities. Celebrities are fishy. And my favorite fish is the octopus. So I want something octopus-like. Aren't you... gonna do that weird bartending thing? I'm waiting for you to order like a decent human being. I'm not following. Spell out your order like you're a human who is not in need of medical help. Fine then, I want a sparkle star. S P A R R Cool Star. One. And piss off, boy. See? Was it that hard? Have you tried to spell under pressure? You look angry. Spelling bartender. Are you having that time of the month or something? No, I'm just filled with ridiculous amounts of anger, pain, and self-hate, and... On second thought, you're not that far from the truth, I guess. I get those too, you know. Periods. You do? Yes. Last month, I finally got over my renaissance and moved to, to my enlightenment. And we're just gonna play this straight and not comment on it. Okay, cool. And here I was, thinking you get to say something serious for once. Are you implying I'm not serious? Glaring holes through me will do nothing. I'm glare immune. <sighs> but if you allow me to give you a sincere piece of advice... Whatever, it's not like it'll help. You shouldn't kick yourself so much. If you keep it up, any chance of finally forgiving yourself will someday be gone. Self-hate will leave you with a hole that will never heal. So please take measures against it instead of sulking so much. I'll be damned. That actually sounded half sensible. Here I was thinking you were just a pompous lunatic. Hey! Pompous lunatics have stories too! Really? What story? I... Would rather not tell. Figures. You want anything else? Have you ever seen how the. A, a bad touch. 
Bad touch. Whatever. Thank you for following, Bling Headshot. Uh, anyway. One, two, three, four. Here. Yeah, I guess this is the one. Maybe he's right, and I shouldn't be so hard on myself. Even though I deserve every second of it. Real talk about mental health, I've been like, really, really, really going through some rough edges lately. I feel like this game manages anxiety and concerns and worries and that general realm of existence, which is everything that I know, um, incredibly well. Like, it's, this has been a pleasure. If only I had apologized earlier, I might not be feeling this way right now. If only I... If only I... I can't even remember what helped me from apologizing all these years. Um... Bartender... You're making lots of faces there. Right? Here? What kept me from going out and apologizing to Lenore? I can't even fucking remember what feeling kept me from fixing this whole situation? Can I at least find solace in whatever feeling it was that brought me to this situation? Great. Now I'm feeling even worse thanks to not being able to muster whatever feeling helped me. Is she okay? No, but just leave her be for now. Hey, Jill! Huh? Oh, thank God, a normal person. Ah, a mummy! Thanks for following Melissa J. <sighs> no, no, I don't have kids. Sorry, she doesn't sound like that. No, no, I don't have kids. Still more normal than this twat. How are you feeling, Say? My bones are still broken, but at least the cuts are healing nicely. Thank god I'm not someone that scars easily. Um, I mean wounds don't leave me marks. It'd be a problem if I couldn't get sc scar tissue. What's happened to you? Fell off two and a half stories into some... I got him twisted for a sec. Fell off two and a half stories into some trash and rubble. You look better, though. Last time you came, you looked like you were about to collapse emotionally. <laughs> I guess. You're the one who looks like it now, though. How do I put it? It's like when I called you your full name, but magnified. Yeah, don't mind me too much. I'm in a bad mood. Anything I can do? Please forgive me if I suddenly lash out at you or anyone else. Do you want something? My tongue's not so sensitive today, so let's have a beer. And you? Such a change in tone. I'm, I'm fine. I don't need anything. Beer it is. Two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four. Your beer, madame. Here. <laughs> Yay! Let's see if there are any differences from the canned ones. And? This one tastes... less watered down. So... Did something happen to you? I'm fine. Nothing's happened to me. People who are fine don't act like that. Oh, I get it. You're in... those days. When it's that time of the month, 
I get a bit sulky. No, I'm not on my period. No? I'm dealing with the loss of someone, okay? Oh! Sorry. Don't worry. Maybe I shouldn't have come today after all. Um... No, I... Hmm... Maybe... <sighs> Are you alright? Uh, I'm trying to find something to say. Making a joke would be tasteless, and I can't say everything will be alright without it sounding... Cheap. I'm... At a loss as to what to do here. Sorry. So Joel is just like this in the beginning of the game. <laughs> Wanna hear something weird? I was exactly like that when Stella came here on Monday talking about you. Oh. Well, ladies, I'm leaving. Virgilio. Yeah? You were just sitting with a Valkyrie. Really? Splendid! This'll make a good entry in my poems blog. <sighs> I'd feel bad about the way I treated him today. And if not for the fact that he was being cryptic with his orders for no good reason. Like Stella when she first came. Yes. No! I mean... <laughs> you could have given him a free beer or something and apologized. Yeah, I just keep messing things up with people. But you know, he seemed familiar. Familiar? Yeah. I can't put my finger on it though. I just feel like I've seen him somewhere. It would be so wild if she, she was rescued by Virgilio. Ah oh well, it might just be that he looks like someone from an ad or something. So, what brings you here? I wanted to come with Stella, so I'm waiting for her. Why here? To be with you, of course. That reminds me, how did Stella react when you arrived? She slapped me. Real hard. It hurt. She said, That's for making me worried and not listening to me. And then she became happy. Huh. Can I ask whose loss you're dealing with? You shouldn't be bothered with it. Just pretend I'm in a bad mood and call it a day. Oh, okay. You really want to know, huh? I can't help it! I don't like seeing people sad. I just need to know context, not details. <sighs> someone to whom I'm said... Some... Someone to whom I said some mean things to... To passed away before I could ever see her again. Does that work? Yeah. Sorry. Knowing I can't do anything helps me calm down, but... Eh? Uh, uh, uh? I mean... It's not that I wouldn't help, I just... Calm down. I get it. I can't contain myself when I see people in need. But I've learned that there are times when you can't... When you just can't do anything. And that's kind of fine. Thank god I learned that, otherwise I would have gone insane ages ago. You're a good person, say. Nah, I'm just an annoying girl. Still, if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. I have broken bones, but that doesn't mean I can't offer emotional support. You could always order another drink. Oh yeah, that! Let's do that! Get me something cold, please! Alright. With ice, huh? Uh... Bad touches?
I just wanted something a little different. Yeah, Cobalt Velvet. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. All the rocks. Here. It's pretty cold outside, though. Yeah, but I don't like hot or warm drinks. They make me feel nauseous. You know what cheers me up? What? Singing. Hearing people sing helps too. Do you sing? I mean, did you take singing lessons or something? Nope. People have told me my voice is pretty nasty actually, but they've also told me I'm good with the harmonica. So you play the harmonica? I needed something to do s I needed- blah. I needed something to do some breathing exercises with, and a harmonica is a lot smaller than a tuba. And I guess if you practice enough, you become decent. That's something I didn't expect. I hear that a lot. I know I don't look like the musical type. I used to play the violin, right until I was 16 or so. Really? Can you still play? The violin's at my mom's house, so I don't have it with me. But I guess I could. It's one of those things you don't forget easily. Why did you stop? I don't know. One day I just felt like stopping. No deep reason behind it. Just like me and cooking. That and almost burning my place up. When's Stella coming? Now that you mention it, she's a bit late. Let me call her. You do that. I'm gonna take my break. Tell Jill if you need anything else. Sure. Wow, this, this game is going. I wonder if it has a chapter three. I'm gonna probably cut it in like 15 minutes or so. I'm. Oof. It is doing such a number on my throat. <laughs> Meanwhile, I totally advise you guys to try at least once. Maybe sp pace yourself a little bit better, but at least once. Play a game that is mostly dialogue and just read it to yourself. Just like... Do whatever you want with the voices. Just give yourself that space to like play around with it. I I think it's a really cool experience. Although obviously, uh, it takes your its toll on you. So I'm just I I wouldn't go through a whole game like this again. But uh, you know it was good. <laughs> Still and say make me a bit jealous. Let's start from back here. Just going backward. Back. Looks like you've calmed down. I still feel like kicking myself. Make no mistake. But I guess I cooled down a bit. Say helped a lot with that one, though. Just can't stay mad when I see her. Speaking of which, where is she? I believe she went outside to look for that Stella girl or something. The way you are right now... This is of a terrible voice. Let me try it. Try it again. The way you are now, right now... It feels like I should be protecting you. Hey. Only thing hindering me is the broken arm. I've gone into burning buildings with a two centimeter deep cut. Yeah, I remember that one. One millimeter more and you would have lost the motor function in your arm. Welcome. Uh, hello Jill. What's this about protecting who? Yeah, um, I'm sort of like Stella's unofficial bodyguard. But I'm not really fit for such duties right now. My father insists I go everywhere with protection. So most of the time, I only ask Say if she feels like going out. She's trained to deal with the kind of things that bodyguards deal with anyway. 
And she's more fun to hang around with, too. So I'm assuming that gorilla outside is a bodyguard? That's Buster. Pretty cool guy. He played football professionally until he lost his leg in a demolition derby. We've offered him an implant surgery for all his years of service, but he rejects it every time. Well, he got used to the replacement he's using, so maybe it's for the best. It's a thick oak branch on a metal bowl tied to his stump. And yet he can still run faster than me with it. True. Do you want something? I'm fine right now. A brand teeny, a big one. I'm in a good mood. But actually, 12. 4, 5, 6, 6, 1. Oh. Yeah. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 comma triangles. H. What do I do wrong? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 8, 6. Here. After all these years, I still don't get why the finest and most expensive things come in small packages. Ever tried to go to a restaurant only for them to serve you a really small portion of some fine food? Actually, yeah. That's why I generally think that cheap food is, like, better bang for your buck. There's just more of it. Really nice food comes at a high price. Not like I, I want... Like, the middle is sometimes really not worth the extra ten bucks, honestly. That's not how I feel. Sometimes you just want to stuff yourself with really cheap food. See? She knows what I'm talking about. Say, let's go for some hamburgers later. Not taking no for an answer. I know what you mean when you say, some, you know? You might as well call the place and tell them to prepare everything in advance. Can I ask you to something? Sure. I guess. How did you two meet? Stella showed up in the park I used to play at when I was a kid. We played a couple of times, she started showing up more and more, and that was it. Ahem. My father told me that when I was five, I kept insisting on going to a real kids park. We drove for some time, and the park I liked was the one Say happened to be at. Have you ever seen a girl in a dress go to a muddy park? She learned her lesson and started showing up with more fitting clothing. With more fitting clothes. Sorry. But man, that's a scene I can't forget. So you two have known each other for most of your lives. I've known her longer than I've known my own father. Why the question? No reason. You two just look so comfortable with each other. Any other person could have sworn you were an item. Uh, an item? What kind of item? A couple say... Oh, I... Uh, yeah, I get it now. It's funny, because we actually earned a mock prize of sorts for best couple at Stella's high school. And the ship sails! Three years in a row. So you two didn't go to the same high school? Nope. Oh. Don't you have any childhood friends, Jill? Childhood friends? I can't think of any. My grandpa, I guess? What kind of man was he? Gruff. The kind to eat raw Bronson roots every morning. <laughs> Around me, he was... different. I have memories of him barking orders to my dad, only to turn around and play with me gently. It's interesting, though. He was my mom's dad, but after my mom and dad separated, he stayed with my dad. Yeah, he's the one that comes to mind when I think about childhood friends. Oh! Hey Jill, what's this? Bloom light? A spicy drink. Tastes nice the first time, but it gets samey after a while. Also brown for some reason. Give me one of those, please. I'll have one too. 
on it. One, two, three, four. One, one, two. One, two, three. Ice mix. Lop. One, two, three, four. One, one, two. I made the wrong thing. One, two, three. Aged and on the rocks mix. Okay, there we go. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. Aged rocks mix. Here. I don't know. I kind of like it. Yeah, but after the third one, it starts tasting like sand. Spicy sand, but sand nonetheless. Who's... Oh, they made the light. Huh. I guess she had too much before I came. Well, that and that she must still be tired. And the whole bank thing? She told me about everything that happened in there. To be honest, I don't think I would have made it in her place. I guess I should be thankful for the nanomachine treatment she went through as a white knight. Treatment? Trauma suppressors. Basically, it helps with the healing process of PTSD. It's mandatory for every white knight, regardless of division. Oh. Still, healing can only do so much. For three days, that bank was hell, and poor Say is still paying for it. The disbanding of the White Knights and subsequent persecution of those who are identified as former members? It's unfair, you know? Among all the people using the White Knights to further their own goals, Say was one of the few that actually believed in what they were supposed to do. It paid off, though. The doctor who treated her wounds was the same one she's always assisted with as accidents and emergencies. He treated her at no cost whatsoever. Well, good karma and all that. She's earned the gods' favor, I think. But, you know, all of that made me realize I might be a bad person. Ow. When I saw Say, wounded, asking for help, part of me was happy. After all this time needing her, she finally needed me. I felt truly useful to her for the first time. How sad is that? Sometimes the best help one can provide is to stay alive. Who knows? Maybe it was the idea of coming back to you that helped her. And I guess you wouldn't be human without thoughts like those once in a while. Maybe. Can I get you anything else? I'm good. I should be leaving, actually. Come say, let's get hamburgers and go home. Mm. Yeah. We'll be leaving now. Thank you. Please come again. Feeling better? No, I just don't reek of rage. I still feel like a piece of shit. Little steps, I guess. Hello? Ah, Kim. Welcome. I was afraid I'd mix up the directions and end up in someone's house or something. She's like a bratty teen, but not actually, so I'm gonna give her that voice. What can I get you? I'll have a sunshine cloud, please. Sure. Let's give a sunshine cloud to Kim. Sunshine cloud. Two aldehyde, two Brunson extract, optional Karmatrine, three, four, four, on the rocks blended. Oh, that's it. Rocks blended. Tastes like old chocolate milk with its good smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel too. Bitter, curly, soft. Sunshine cloud. Here. Thanks. So, how's work on the web paper? Oh, I quit. What? Yep. 
I went to the office of that chauvinistic horse player and I told him I quit. Why'd you do that? I arrived early to my meeting and got some assignment. I spent hours doing it, only for the other bitches to come and ruin it. After that, I didn't have time left so my supervisor scolded me. So I snapped and quit on a whim. Oh. Don't you have any second thoughts? Regret anything? I guess you'll always have second thoughts. Even if you do what you want, you'll still think, what if? Even so, I was getting physically sick there. I dreaded the arrival of every morning. I even almost... What I'm saying is, I don't know what I'll do, but it's certainly better than being there. I feel... Free. Free. It's a wonderful feeling, you know? I feel like now I can find something I care about. I won't return to the augmented eye, but I can still pursue journalism with another outlet. I haven't felt like this in... Well, never. Ahem. What about your family? They weren't happy, that's for sure. My dad took it better, but my mom freaked out, to put it mildly. What are you gonna do? And all that stuff. <sighs> I'm not here about that. Give me a big drink, please. What kind? I don't know. Bubbly or something. Something big, something bubbly. Gotcha. Are you a fat cobalt velvet? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hi, right, cheers, batch. Here. <laughs> If detergent commercials are to be believed, this will clean out my insides. It'll also kill things inside you. I gotta ask though, how'd you end up working there? No deep reason. That's what I did when I got out of high school. Taking a year off was out of the question, so I went for the first thing I thought about. But I couldn't get into a robotics course, so I settled for journalism. I mean, same. Honestly. To be honest, I got tired of the job midway through it, but I couldn't bring myself to leave. <sighs> Too much pressure for my family. It's a really common tale, I guess. You have troubles like those? Same story as you, I just went through the motions. From high school to college, I never stopped to think about what I was doing. And then, at some point, I just felt like my life slipped through my fingers. Suddenly, all I wanted was freedom. A little pause, stop and take a breather. And my life went to hell for that fucking breather. Uh, um, give me a... Uh, something. Something? Sorry, I just have a dry mouth. Anything will do. All right. Want us something? Uh, I'm sexist. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Good gravy. Oh, this song is dope too. Uh, here. Thanks. I feel like I asked something I shouldn't have. Don't fret about it. I'm just in a rough spot right now. What are you gonna do now? 
Honestly, I don't know. I do feel liberated, however. Like, I can do whatever I want. Study whatever I like. Work wherever I want. I know it's not that way and it won't be easy, but I feel a lot more confident than when I was out of high school. I honestly don't get why they put young people who barely know how society works through that one. I mean, same, but okay. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Your mental health should be your priority and all that. Thanks. Really needed the encouragement. Come back if you need more encouragement. Oh wait, sorry. That sounded really sexual. I'm gonna say it again. Come back if you need more encouragement. I wouldn't dare leave someone alone when it comes to this sort of... <laughs> it's all about phrasing. Dog. <laughs> Thanks. Bye, Jill. Please come again. <sighs> you should take some of that advice for yourself. I know, I know. Let's call it a day for now. You need some rest. Yeah. Honey! I realize now what I should have been doing, which is a drag queen voice. Fuck my life. Sorry. I'm so sorry. That's just like... So obvious now. So many missed opportunities. Ah, Dorothy. Sorry. We're just closing. I know! I came for you! For me? Why are you hugging me? I paid her to do that. All night long. Come again? To put it simply, Dorothy will go home with you and she won't leave your side. What do you hope to accomplish with that? Well, at first it was to calm that rage you had earlier. It was either hugs or a cold bucket, and I don't promise there'll be any water in it. You calmed down a bit, but honestly, I know better than to leave you alone for another night. At the very least, all the cuddling will give you an epiphany or something. That's some alien reasoning right there. It's not! You need hugs. Many. You need some human er. Uh humanoid contact right now. You had your alone time, now we're playing by my rules. Please take care of me. Oh, another... Treat yourself, buy something nice for you and Dorothy. So is she like renting Dorothy? Are we getting a... Your electricity bill will be sent on the... Yeah, I know. Jill wants to buy, get in the holiday mood. Buying a maker Christmas tree will prevent her from getting too distracted. So let's do that. Yeah. But after that, I'm turning in. So I'll spend a second just like talking and then we can... Uh, you know. Continue next time. Thanks for following uh, Maximus Portal. Really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's just do a recap here. Uh, I'm sorry if I was kind of wiling in the earlier half of the, the stream. I was like in some kind of headspace. Uh, and I was having some real difficulty with some of the voices, but I hope that it was somewhat enjoyable nonetheless. Honestly, sometimes this game feels like it goes on for, like, a really long time. But, I've committed to this. In the future, I might not go super hard and, like, force myself to play through every single game. But this is one of those ones where I'm just like, you know what? It just takes time, just keep going. But man, it feels like I'm running a marathon every time. Which is especially why I, uh, I really appreciate your guys' support in tuning in. Um... You know, just knowing, like, got some people to basically, like, listen and, and um, you know, quietly support me. It's a nice incentive. Good motivation. Everybody needs it. I 
implore you to spread that elsewhere as well, not just to me, and I'll pay it forward. Anyway, uh, tomorrow at 3.30 is the goal so far. Um, but, as you know, I took Friday off of my schedules. Uh, Friday is now for YouTube original content. Um, in the works right now. So, hold on to, to that. Uh, I'm going to South Korea for a week and change. I'll be back on, like, the Tuesday after the next. And that'll be... Well, I'm probably going to be really tired, so I don't know if I'll stream that day, but, but, I'm going to try really hard, really hard, to stream while I'm in Korea, at least for a little bit. I don't know what time it'll be, but it'll be happening, and it'd be really cool if some of you guys could tune in. That would be super dope. I'm probably going to, I'm, then you're going to get a break from Valhalla, you can see me play something else. I might play Apex Legends, because it's too complicated for me to download, like, less popular games, and in a like a net cafe you're more likely to get the popular games anyway so like i'm not great at apex legends but maybe i can show a little bit of something or who knows anyway uh so so much thanks for tuning in and following got a nice following as of this stream and uh yeah stay pretty guys um you know what it is. Bye.